Jack of the Doodles. Yes. We're here with Emerald and Paddington's mini golden doodle babies. And they are five weeks old. And what's buried under here? A toy? Ugh, let's get it. Get it. Get the toy. Yes. Look at us. We're walking and talking and playing. And they're all jumping on my arm here. Yeah. So five weeks old, guys. <laughs> Tomorrow is our big day, our big temperament testing. Okay, there we go. Seemed to hit slow motion there for a minute, guys. So um, we will have temperament testing results to you out on Wednesday evening. And um, everybody should have, um, in this litter, received your puppy picking pickup instructions. And for those that will be picking up directions to the farm. Yeah. <laughs> so you can see we have come out of our shells a lot here. Yes. There will be one. Um, we may have one more video. Now that I think about it, we're already, today is Saturday. Um, trying to think if we'll have another video before picking or not. So this may very well be both our picking video as well as um, our regular weekly video. Yes. So in this litter, we have four and four, four girls, four boys. And we will go over everybody another time or just paying attention. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And excuse our, our wetness here. We had a, a good heyday here jumping up with, in water. We had uh, sheep and doodles going home today in our Poppins litter. And so, um, yeah, things have been just a little different today for these babies. So let's go up, everybody. I'm gonna go through, look at her, or him, him. Attacking the snowman. Yes, we still have some Christmas stuff and winter stuff in here. Okay, let's see. Who do we have here? Let's go through the girls first then since you're right here. So this is light pink girl. Soft cotton wavy. Let's take a look at you. Yes, let's look at you. Hi, pumpkin. Hi. Hi. Who's getting so vocal over there? No, it wasn't you. It wasn't you. I'm listening to you. Yeah. Hi. Are you a smart baby? Yes, you are. Okay, here's purple girl. And yeah, their eyes are kind of watering right now. That's not tear staining. That's something that we typically go through if you've watched my videos before. They, um, at this stage, we typically kind of go through this. They are, um, their hair is kind of growing out right there and causing a little bit of tearing in the eyes, but that is not regular puppy tearing. That's gonna all dry up. So this purple girl is a little more of a curly coat. She has some fleece in there. Yes, you do. Hi. <laughs> there, maybe you can see her in light pink together. And let's see here. Our puppy's hiding. Hiding around the corner. Lime. <laughs> okay, so. There you can see purple and light pink together. And here we have Turquoise Girl, who I'm gonna have to hold so she'll remain still for a minute. She is a soft cotton wavy coat as well. Little bigger than those other two. And I mean, not by much, but she's a little more chunky. She's got a thicker frame. Um, you may notice something that I tend to do when they're born and I put on their collars. I tend to put the same collars on like puppies. So I typically put purple collar. Now this isn't always the case, but right now it, it seems to be. I, I didn't really notice it until um, people started pointing out to me. But purple is the smallest in this litter and I tend to put purple on the smallest. Yeah. And look, we're having a, a heyday there with the pants. So uh, purple, light pink, turquoise and then here is our lightest color of the litter dark pink 
and she has a little more curly coat with fleece in there. And she is also kind of small. She and purple would be the smallest of the girls. Next would be light pink followed by turquoise. And I mean, we're talking about, are you trying to bite me? Are you trying to bite me? I think not. I think not. Yeah, we have teeth. Let's let's look at our teeth. <gasps> look at the teethies there. Yeah. And that may not hurt all that much right now, but it does start to hurt. So they don't know what they're supposed to chew on. I've got somebody chewing on my shirt right now. Who would that be? Purple. Purple's chewing on my shirt. They don't know what they're supposed to chew on right now. So it's my job to start off by letting them know what is permissible and what is not. So those were the four girls. Now we'll go to the boys. We have lime green collar boy here, soft cotton wavy. He's got that little shimmer on him. Then we have dark green, a little more curly, and he definitely has fleece in there. Then we have yellow boy, which is our darkest red of the litter. And he also has a little more curly coat, some fleece in there, probably not as much fleece as green. And orangey, there you are. Orangey! Hi! Hi! He's a soft cotton wavy coat. And kind of like um, turquoise, he's got a little chunkiness there. A little thicker frame right now. Are you paying attention? Are you? Yeah, pay attention. So um, basically, we're doing our temperament testing this week. Everybody's gotten your email so far. Next up is puppy picking. And so what I will do is, um, if anybody has any questions or anything, just let me know. I'll be texting everybody at the time of your appointment and you can give me your selection. And um, I will be texting everybody as puppies are chosen throughout the day. We do typically run early. So just uh, keep your phones nearby. If we're running early, I will let you know and I'll keep you up to date as to who's next. But we do typically run early. I try to leave it 45 minutes in case somebody really needs to take the time to, um, a lot of times people will say, man, I had my talk too. And they're both available and you know, you got to start making some decisions then. So, um, but most of the time um, we're running a little early. So just a warning there. And um, they've already started getting in their crates, but with a buddy. So we start our crating off with a buddy to make it a little less of a traumatic event. And once they're used to being in the crate with their buddy, then we'll move them off to um, their own separate crates by themselves. And the crate training, potty training, they all go hand in hand. And you'll be receiving in your reading material that you get after you choose your puppy, you'll be receiving your crate training procedures. And what that is, is that kind of lets you know our potty training, crate training. It also has more than just that. It also lets you know what we um, typically do when they first go home, what their normal schedule is. Excuse the mismatched socks. Um, I'm, if we ever find a matched pair of socks, there's like um, a celebration. That, that's what happens here. So anyway, that's pretty much what is gonna go down after here. And um, after we choose puppies, then things kind of move really fast there as well. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Um, one thing that I like to remind people is we do breed for uniformity. And that's in similarity with coat, textures, and colors, but also with temperament. So unless we have somebody that really sticks out, and there, I mean, everybody has their little um, idiosyncrasies that we will mention, but a lot of dogs end up scoring very similar. And so, um, you know, some people say it's really hard to decide based on everything you've written because they're all very similar. However, we do try to point out some of those little things that might make a big difference to everybody. So hopefully that'll help. Who's behind my back? That'd be you, Yellow. And Orange is licking the camera. Hopefully we can still see. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna stop talking, let you guys watch. And if we are able to fit in another video on Wednesday, I will try to do that. I realize that that's just a few days away. So if we're able to do that, we'll fit that in. But hopefully you'll be able to um, get a good look at them right now because they are awake and lively and yeah, doing all kinds of things. So we will talk to you guys on picking day. <laughs>